every time you you wake up there's a land of opportunity in front of you do something different make a friend talk to someone you never have before do something you've never done a lot of joy comes that way the people we came with ran over and said that the pin had crashed i was injured during a motocross race my dad had to uh, do CPR before life flight could arrive. Let's go. He can't breathe on his own. What's called a diaphragmatic pacer it stimulates his diaphragm 13 times a minute so that he'll have 13 breaths a minute. A whole new life started that day. He has healed physically in a very big way. Obviously, much of that is due to the efforts of uh, Patty and, and Easter Seals. Pull it in, pull it in. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Come on, there you go, there you go. It's important that Ben have the physical therapy and continue with the physical therapy. He needs to be stretched, he needs to be strengthened for bone integrity, for the muscle strength, for his overall health and cardiovascular. It's important for him to maintain his best physical condition, to be as intellectually challenged as he can be. They're interrelated. Last one. Better leave it out there. Come on. There you go. Where have you been hiding that? Come on, let's go. Pull it in. Pull it in. His academic work is among some of the best of any of the students I've had. You're really zipping by well on the core. It's a lot closer than I actually thought I was. Ben is a very good face for the University of Southern Indiana. I have a voice recognition software on my, on my computer. I also have a lot of help. You know, I have to take tests in a different room, obviously. I don't want to be uh, among everybody and say, answer's B, because it's probably wrong. And wouldn't want to do that to my classmates. It sounded like they did it. It started way before he came back home from his rehab. We just took the home room by room and did what we had to do to make each area accessible. There are so many things that people take for granted day to day. Areas that you think are accessible are not as easy as you would think they would be. Just to press a door, an automatic door to open it, he can't do that. So someone needs to do that for him. Ben and I always had a motto, give yourself 15 minutes to cry. Get your grief out, but then you move on with your day. Ben is probably one of the most courageous guys uh, I've ever met. The kids that knew Ben spent the days and the nights at the hospital while Ben was there. They yes. never yes. left the hospital. I have a really close group of about 10 friends, you know, that, that uh, we hang out on a, a regular basis. Go to ball games, go out, grab something to eat, go see a movie. The doctors told me that I would never be able to feel or move anything. Oh, well, right now I can feel all throughout my arms through my abs, throughout my legs. If I can do that, what can you do?